All right, so today we're back on the manual pad. We're gonna be going over how to nose manual and pretty much just how to improve your nose manuals. We'll be talking about how to get into the nose manual, how to practice balancing your nose manual, and how to come out of the nose manual. I guess some bonus things, we'll even talk about doing tricks out of the nose manual as well, or at least some things that'll help set you up to do them. Or at least it's the things I like to do when I practice nose manual tricks out. It might help you, it might not, but, but here we go with the nose manual. All right, before we even get onto the manual pad, we're gonna practice a few different things. One, we're gonna be using this manual pad right here. It's from that crack to this crack. And this is a great way to practice any manual trick before you actually bring it to a manual pad. There's a few reasons why. You can practice getting into your manual trick without any consequence of hanging up. It's also helpful learning how to come out of the trick with no drop, there's no consequence. You can just simply drop your board down. So before we actually start doing a nose manual across this thing, Let's talk about foot placement and how to get into it. Even without ollieing. Yeah, I even said that, even without ollieing. So this is another technique I actually have talked about and how to manual easier. It's another video I've done. It kind of applies to all the manual tricks. I'll make sure to leave a link in the bio so you guys can check that out. But if you haven't seen it, don't worry. We're gonna go over it again real quick. So this crack acts as your starting point. And with nose manual, instead of ollieing into it right away, we're just gonna honestly do like a tic-tac into it. We're gonna literally just go back and then go forward and lean on our nose. I feel like practicing this is a little bit more realistic instead of just kind of standing on your nose and practicing a nose manual. This way you kind of learn the momentum of an ollie into the nose manual by using this crack. So if you don't know what I'm saying, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Much I'm gonna approach this as like I would go into a nose manual. I'm gonna have one foot on the tail, one foot on the nose. So I'm pretty much honestly in, in ollie position and in nose manual position at the same time. Ugh. As a quick little demo on this crack right here, I would approach it, I would lift back as an ollie and then lean forward as a nose manual. As you can see, that's kind of more realistic of like a nose manual, instead of just kind of standing there and doing this. Like that's a great way to balance it, but you don't really just do that normally when you're skating. But doing this way is a nice little basic trainer way to get yourself into ollieing into the nose manual. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. I mentioned when I am doing this, I'm not focused on doing the longest nose manual I can. It's really all about getting comfortable. So this is how I would approach it with a little bit of speed. I'd lift up and then lean into that nose mail. Just hold it as long as I can. And by doing this, you can kind of go further and further each time as you get more comfortable with it. Now I'm gonna approach it with a little bit more speed, hit into that nose manual, hold it, hold it, rest down. Right now, we're not even focused about kind of popping out of that nose manual or anything. We're simply just getting comfortable rolling into it and holding it. So after you've done this a few times, the next thing I'm gonna suggest is ollieing from that crack and into the nose manual. So my foot stance is gonna be in the ollie position. I'm gonna have my front foot a little bit heavier on the front of the board just because I'm trying to get into that nose manual. Even before you just jump right into it, you can definitely practice this just stationary. So you can just kind of do this. So you just kind of get the idea of ollieing into the nose manual just a little bit. But once you do that a few times, I think you're ready to ollie over the crack and into the nose manual. Get a little bit more comfortable with it, you can approach it with a little bit more speed. I definitely suggest doing that a few times to get comfortable ollieing into the nose manual. And just approach that one more time, ollie into the nose manual, hold it, put it down. All right, now that we learned how to ollie into it, the next thing I want to talk about actually is holding the nose manual. One thing I really suggest doing when you nose manual is not look down. You almost have to trust your feet that they're gonna be in the nose manual position. When you're doing nose manual, what really helps me is holding my right shoulder kind of out there and making sure I'm looking straight because wherever my shoulder and wherever my neck is looking is usually the way I'm gonna be going. I think that's one big thing that really helps me out when I hold my nose manuals. The other thing I do wanna bring up as well, when I'm doing manual tricks, even I sometimes will tighten my trucks. Tightening your trucks honestly will really help the stability in holding your manuals as well. So the next thing I want to talk about is ollieing into a disaster into your nose manual. So when I mean disaster, I guess I'm meaning a rock to fake your rock and roll. So where your board is actually stalling, you're going to bring that weight up into a nose manual. See, this is a great thing even I do before I actually commit to a nose manual. This is a great way to first approach it. Definitely makes it less scary. We're going to approach the obstacle with a little bit of speed. Get into like a rock to fake your rock and roll or disaster, whatever you really want to call it, board stall, honestly. And we're gonna use that leverage from the nose, lift up and into a nose manual. I honestly love doing this when like, usually an obstacle is too high for me or something. I'll kind of ollie into a disaster or a rock stall and pull myself up. It's honestly a lot of fun to do. It's a good way to warm up. And I think it's a great way to help learn nose manuals. So I'll show you what that looks like. Before we even get into the nose manual, I'll show you the rock and the process. I'm honestly practicing just getting into that board slide and getting up here right here. 
And what I'm doing when I do this, honestly, is all my weight is really on my right foot. And my right leg is gonna help propel me all the way up to the deck right here. Try to hold a little bit of a nose mail to show you guys where we're going with this. You need to ollie that much if you don't need to, but see that? And that's what we're doing. So once you do that a few times, we're gonna practice it and we're gonna do it across the whole manual pad. Okay, so I'm gonna approach it now with a little bit more speed, getting into the rock, holding the nose manual. Wait, but we didn't talk about coming off a nose manual as yet, did we? I guess we should talk about that before we get off the manual pad, huh? So this is something I didn't bring up while we were practicing on the ground because it really didn't apply. But now that we have the drop, we should probably talk about it. When you're learning how to come off of a nose manual, especially off an obstacle, it's kind of scary, but you think you have to learn how to nollie. But if you don't have a good nollie, don't worry about it because you're really not nollying. You're kind of like nollie floating it, nollie bumping it, whatever you really want to call it. Because we're not really focused on popping off of it right away. Don't get me wrong, you'll get there. But for now, we're just going to get that nollie motion out. And so to get that and practice that without having to do the nose manual right away, because it is pretty scary just doing a nose manual and just trusting that your board's gonna be there. What I suggest is honestly rolling on the manual pad and just doing a nollie motion out. So we're gonna go to the end of the obstacle. We're gonna give it a nice push. We're gonna be in the nose manual position as we approach the end. And we're gonna just literally like do a air nollie out. And trust me, it's a lot easier and like less scary doing it this way than when you're actually in a nose manual, especially if it's your first time. So I definitely suggest doing this a few times. And as you can see there, I actually didn't nollie off the nose. I kind of just did a quick little boom. Really, it was just like a nollie floater, a no popper, a nopper, whatever you want to call it. And actually, you know, while we're here, like I was saying, I do want to talk about doing tricks out of nose manuals as well. Now that we're over here kind of learning that little nollie motion out of the nose manual, if you're feeling spicy, you feel like you can do something else, next thing I'd suggest trying is maybe a little nollie half cab out, kind of experimenting, seeing which way coming out of the nose manual may be easier. Definitely kind of cool coming out fakey and switching it up. The other thing you can definitely try is doing a shove it out. If you can do a little nollie front shove it or back shove it on flat, especially like a no pop, just like a rolling cruise like switch around, same exact motion as you do off of a manual pad. This honestly applies to nollie flip, nollie heel, and most flip tricks out as well. But if you're not feeling to trying the flip tricks or 180s out yet off of something, I got an idea. We'll bring it back to the ground. I know, remember this manual pad that we were skating earlier? We're already back to it. I know, pretty crazy. So like I was talking about doing the nollie tricks out, if you don't want to try it off of a ledge yet, a good way to practice it is at the edge of your fake manual pad. I guess not fake, but I guess it's real, but I guess manual pad without height. I would actually approach it with, if you were gonna try a 180, this is what it would look like for me. I would hold my nose manual till I saw the crack, and then I would kind of jump and do the half cab motion out. This would apply doing it backside as well. And to practice a nollie back 180 out, I would kind of hold it and then kind of do the little fake little half skirt. Definitely a nice way to practice it before you actually throw it down something. Even if it's something really small and minimal, it's definitely good practice to have before you take it somewhere else. Honestly, even just kind of using that as the edge and just kind of doing that motion, it just kind of teaches your body like what's coming in for it at least, especially if you've never done it out of a nose manual. You want a little bit of confidence rolling into it. I was saying this honestly works with shove it tricks too. You can just practice it on the ground. Here's an example with a little nose manual front shove. <laughs> But yeah, you get what I'm saying. You can really practice it very minimal on the ground. Yeah, I mean, even I learned how to do nose manual nollie heel on flat. Not even joking. I literally learned it just kind of standing in the position like this. And then I kind of just practiced like flipping it out and slowly more and more, I actually got more confident and I learned how to do it. It's pretty crazy. Now that we've actually practiced this a few times, let's try it off the manual pad. So now that we built some confidence on the flat ground, let's try it actually off the manual pad. So at first, I would just try the nose manual kind of half cap motion out of it. It was like that. Pretty chill. Now I can actually try it holding a slight nose manual before the edge. It would kind of look something like this. And see, it was very minimal. Even how I kind of like took that fall right there, it was pretty minimal and pretty chill. And it's like, don't make it scary. Try to learn it on the ground and then slowly build your way up and your confidence up to the manual pad. Okay, now that we reviewed a handful of things, I kind of want to show you what it looks like even before we even do the last final nose manual. I just want to show you kind of the disaster rock nose manual off. And maybe I'll do a 180 off or shove it off just to give you guys an idea. All right, so I'm going in for the board stall, holding the nose manual. Oh, we just made it. <laughs> so I guess the three things I really want you to remember is like that disaster stall, kind of keeping your arm and your head looking straight out of there. And of course, just approaching the end like you would off flat.
super chill. All right, so like that's how I pretty much approach a nose manual, shove it before I did the real thing. But now, let's kind of finish it off with the final nose manual. So hopefully after you add all those things together, it looks like this. But Spencer, wait, you're gonna say all links straight into the nose manual is still kind of scary. You know what, I still have a hack for that. But before you do this, definitely make sure you look at the ledge first before you do this and I'll explain why. So this is the last little nose manual hack I'm gonna leave you guys with. And this is approaching the nose manual from the side. We're gonna be approaching it front side to be exact. It's just the easiest way to get into the nose manual. But before you do this, I do wanna mention it doesn't always work for every ledger manual pad. Sometimes you can't approach the ledge this way, so it does suck. That's why that rock disaster is a good option. But if you have this option, it does work really well. Because we're gonna be approaching the nose manual from the side of the ledge. And warning right now, make sure the top of the ledge is not waxed too much or even waxed at all. I'll show you guys the other side of the ledge is super waxed up, so I would not suggest doing it on that side. That's like a big no-no right there. This is way better. It looks like it's waxed, but it's pretty dried out on this side. But essentially what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing the nose manual from the side of the ledge. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna roll up, like I'm gonna do a front side 50-50, but I'm gonna go on to the top of the ledge. And I wasn't really focused on holding it that long. I just really wanted to get comfortable getting into the nose manual. Sometimes this is a little bit more comfortable than going straight on. When you're going straight on, you do have the potential of hitting your back truck like this, or even the nose of your board will hit the ledge first. So when you're approaching it like a 50-50, that obviously won't happen. So it's definitely a chill option to try a nose manual. But like I was saying, make sure the ledge is not wax and you don't slip out, because that's not chill. All right, so that's pretty much all the tips and tricks I have for nose manuals. Comment, let me know if this helps you guys. Let me know if it doesn't help you guys. Let me know if I actually missed something that I didn't even cover. I feel like I covered everything, for the most part at least. So hopefully you guys will be doing nose manuals a lot easier and getting a lot more confident trying tricks out. Ha, ha, ha.